Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to replace this air module in the Tesla Model S. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take the wheel off. Uh, next thing after you have the wheel off is uh, we already removed the parking brake. Uh, there's a, a clip right here uh, and two bolts behind here to remove that. Um, after you've got that removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the wheel well assembly. To get the parking brake off, what I do is uh, put the car in uh, put the car in drive, and then disconnect the high voltage under the hood as well as the 12 volt. Um, that will just, or what you can do is throw it in drive and uh, disconnect the caliper. There's a little red clip on the back. Pull that out, and uh, I go in there with a pick, and then uh, and then pull the uh, the uh, uh, connector off. So once you have the parking brake off, go in there, we've got some clip tools, and we'll go off, go around and remove all of these clips from the inside of the wheel well, as, long it, as well as a, uh, ten, the 10 millimeter plastic bolts holding on the wheel well liner as well. With all the wheel well clips removed, we can now take out the liner. Now next, we will go in and remove this bolt right here. It's an 8 or 18 millimeter right here. Uh, this bolt, which I believe is a 19, never mind, it's a 21, and the bolt on the back of this upper uh, control arm link. So it's going to be this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. Got the main bolts out, like Jordan said, this left one center and the one for the shock so looking up at the top part of the strut there are three main bolts that need to come out one two and then three back there since it is an older model they are pretty rusted so try to spray them with pb blaster if possible All right, so I'm using a swivel. As you can tell, I hold this uh, pretty much straight up and uh, I drill kind of at an angle because this is a real pain to get to and I'm just gonna uh, impact it off. And pretty much do that for all three of those. There are three airline uh, fittings before you undo all of the bolts you're going to want to remove. So I push the edge down and slide the tube out just like so and then the one at the bottom. All right with the air module uh, disconnected I'm going to lower it out with the air line attached being careful not to snag that on anything. Once we have the air module out of the vehicle, we're going to take a 12 millimeter wrench and uh, loosen it. As you see, it's also come loose at this fitting too. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to go and grab a set of vice grips and hold this. With a set of vice grips, it's not super tight on here, but it's uh, a little bit cinched down. This will allow us to loosen the lower nut which is the fitting we want to remove if this one did come loose uh, i recommend just snugging that back in place you can hear the uh, rest of the air coming out of there which is not very much since this thing was pretty empty with this uh, airline removed we'll go ahead and i'll just loosen the, uh, the fitting will clean that up as well as uh, re-lubricate the seal. All 
All right, we're just coating the surface of the shock with Corrosion X just to prevent any sort of rust. You enjoying yourself, Jordan? I'm just lubricating the shock. <laughs> Make sure to get the surface of the top part of the shock because that's what's going to be contacting the frame of the car. Now we're just trying to bolt in the air suspension. With and I first get them loosely started. All right, so we're gonna lift the from the lower part of the rotor, uh, and we're gonna jack the suspension so that we can get these two uh, control arms up here. Uh, we already first uh, put the bolt through the uh, suspension the, through the shock. Uh, attaching it to the hub, and now we're gonna lift it up so I can attach the two uh, bolts here. All right. Well, jack this up. Let me know. All right. We're gonna so, try to line up the holes as best as we can. Good. Now that the bolts align or everything's aligned, we're gonna bolt this in. have the control arms all lined up you want to just put these two bolts back through and then we'll be able to drop the floor jack now with this greased up new boss fitting um, and some uh, this is the lube that I used just put a little bit on the tube it allows this to slip down uh, nicely over the fitting uh, if you don't have any grease it is kind of difficult to move so once it grabs the grease there we go. Now we'll begin to slide a little bit nicer. So now with that up against, you can see approximately too how much I have that glass fitting at. So I'll stick this up to the fitting. And this allows, with the grease, it also allows it to spin more easily in there. All right, now we're just tightening it up and it's all bolted in. So we, uh, since we anti-seized all of these bolts that went into the suspension, you're going to want to reduce the torque specs uh, by 30%. So I'll give you our torque specs with anti-seize. We found that uh, there was a big problem with bolts breaking off. Uh, these are brand new hubs uh, off of a salvage car. So the uh, if you're in a, an area that gets a lot of salt, it's going to have the issue that these bolts get uh, stuck in the uh, in the knuckles. So what we've done is uh, we've reduced the torque specs and I'll give you our updated torque specs. Uh, with anti-seize, uh, these torque specs are going to be 91 newton meters, 91 newton meters, uh, and 98 newton meters.